Hey guys, Corn Cob Piper here. I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Uh, just out here, nice day uh, in southwest sunny Florida, out on my porch, or as I like to call it down here in Florida, a lanai. It'll always be a porch to me. I'm a Midwest guy, and uh, you know that's what we we go outside on the porch. I'm smoking today out of my Missouri Missouri Meerschaum uh, stubby, and inside. I have McClellan uh, 2015 Virginia Perique Flake. It's a pretty decent uh, uh, vapor. If you're into those, definitely would recommend that you try it. Uh, nice, cool smoke. Uh, a lot of the sweetness comes through from the uh, Virginias. Uh, but there is uh, not a whole lot of Perique in here. You still get the spiciness from it. But it's not overpowering preak like they have in a lot of the vapors uh, that I've tried. Uh, today I'm going to do a uh, VR for Sasquatch Piper. Uh, it's for his 300 sub giveaway. If you haven't seen his channel, uh, definitely go check him out. Make sure to congratulate him on the 300 subs. I will post a link down below for y'all. Uh, if anything, at least go to his channels and uh, just give him a congratulations. So for his uh, 300 sub giveaway, he his question was, um, you know, basically you're in a store, um, a general store, so it has just about everything, you know, guns, food, whatever, whatever you think of, and there's a zombie apocalypse, and outside the doors there is, you know, zombies pounding away. The store owner lifts a trap door, uh, says, you know, this will take you to the outskirts of town. Uh, and I only have time to grab two things on my way out. Uh, what are the two things that I grab? Um, so the first, the two things I would grab on my way out, um, the first would be a like a multi-pack of butane lighters. You know, like sometimes you can get them up to 10 lighters. Uh, one of the most important things in survival is being able to uh, start a fire. I'm I'm, a, I'm an Eagle Scout. I, I you know I, I like to think that uh, I have above average uh, survival skills because of that. And um, you know in a survival situation, fire is a necessity. And I living down here in in Florida, you know, in the in the rainy season in the summer, it rains every day. It's hard to get dry kindling and stuff like that. So you're almost uh, not that I couldn't start a fire without a a lighter, but uh, it just makes a survival situation uh, that much that much easier. Um, the my second thought would be to grab. Uh, like a survival knife, but I know when I'm always out no matter where I'm at I Bring along my Leatherman sidekick. It's in my pocket now. It would be in my side in my pocket then uh, which would give me um, You know access to a knife to a saw uh, screwdrivers files um, Scissors uh, So I you know I'm covered in that aspect. So my for for me my second uh, item that I would grab would be a compass. Um, you know, you're not always going to, you know, be traveling by day to use the sun. Um, you know, or at night you're not going to always be able to see the SARS. And you have to know where you're going. Obviously, in a zombie apocalypse survival style situation, um, you're going to be going off grid. So, you know, out into the wilderness. And you're going to need some way. Um, to navigate and you know they when you read about these stories about people getting lost on hiking trails or you know and, and up in the mountains the reason that they get lost is uh because they lose track of where they're at um they end up walking in circles um a lot of times they may only be uh, you know a mile or so off of a trail uh, but they have no idea where they're at and what direction to head in and uh you know especially in the woods um you know can become very confusing for you uh, to you know, realize which which direction you're headed in. So my two items: uh, a uh, item one, pack of lighters to start a fire. Uh, item number two is going to be a compass uh, to help me, uh, you know, navigate as I'm trying to get you know farther and farther out of. Obviously, in a zombie apocalypse situation, ideally you would want to get as far away uh, from populous areas as possible. So whether that's 
going to the water, uh, to the mountains. Um, you know, down here in Florida, my, my choice probably would be first to head to the water. Uh, up north, um, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to go up into the mountains. Um, but, you know, hopefully that day, uh, the day of the zombie apocalypse, never happen. I, I'd like to think that, uh, you know, I would be able to survive, uh, you know, at least for a little while until the, uh, the problem was, was squashed. But you, you never know. Uh, so once again, uh, Sasquatch Piper, congrats on the 300 subs. You have an awesome channel. Uh, and don't forget, guys, to go check go check them out. Once again, the link will be posted down below. That's really all I got for you today, uh, YouTube. And as always, keep on piping.